Today is Mardi Gras. And while we have our own celebrations here in Northeast Louisiana throughout the month of February, we are learning more about the celebrations in New Orleans. That's right. Joining us now is Kelly Schultz, who is with New Orleans and Company. Kelly, thank you for being here. Tell us what's going on today in New Orleans on the streets. Hey, good morning. Happy Mardi Gras. We are celebrating our first Mardi Gras in two years. We're so excited to have our parades back. We're here on beautiful St. Charles Avenue in the Garden District. I've got a trumpet player right downstairs, and there are hundreds of people already out lined up for the parades, even though they don't start for several hours. That is crazy. You just touched on it, hundreds of people there, but roughly, do you know how many people around the world are going to be there at this year's Mardi Gras? Well, I'll tell you, there's so much pent-up demand for New Orleans and for Mardi Gras with all of the difficulties that we faced over the past couple of years with COVID. So typically, we welcome hundreds of thousands of visitors from all over the world to New Orleans for Mardi Gras. This past weekend, our hotels were virtually full, and that means tons of people in town enjoying the parades, our restaurants, our museums, and our culture. So you all know about Mardi Gras in Monroe, and we're just so excited to be out here today in New Orleans. Yes, Mardi Gras is such a blast. We had two parades up here. We went to them the past two weeks, and it was a lot of fun. Besides the fun of catching beads, what's really the reason for throwing beads and trinkets to the parade goers? Well, you know, it started hundreds of years ago. I mean, Mardi Gras has been around since the 1800s, and it started with the Rex organization, which is actually celebrating its 150th anniversary today. They would throw beads and trinkets as a symbol of wealth and prosperity, which don't we all need a little bit of that these days? So the tradition has continued even hundreds of years later now. People are not only throwing beads and doubloons, but trinkets, stuffed animals. It's really amazing to see how creative all of our throws have gotten, and it's a lot of fun for people to just stand on the streets and hold up their hands and scream and see whatever they can catch from the floats. Well, we have our beads on today, we so we must have some prosperity coming <laughs> yes, our way. <laughs> seriously. And really quick before you go, how long are the parades going to keep rolling today? Well, today is the culmination of Mardi Gras, so we started at about 8 a.m., and the parades are going to roll until about 3. So after that, at midnight tonight, it all comes to an end, and we're going to start preparing for next Mardi Gras. Well, thank you so much for more information. People can go to neworleans.com slash Mardi Gras to find out more information on what's going on in New Orleans, and maybe be prepared for next year whenever they want to come and visit. That's right. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you so much. We're going to have more news.